Hey guys, welcome back to the Manga Map channel. Today I am watching One Piece episodes 285 and 286. We are in the final building of Annie's lobby. We have re we, we had to get the help of Kokoro to jump over uh, the waterfall with the train, but we've got Frankie. Well, spanned and pushed Frankie off of the building, but we've got him. Uh, the crew are there. We have reached the final destination. Spandam's trying to run away with Robin through the gates of justice. We're not going to let that happen. So it looks like it's about to be the Straw Hats going up against CP9, which I am so excited for. Uh, so I'm not going to speak much at the start because I just want to get into the episodes. Um, apologies if you guys can hear like a dog maybe. In the background, you sh it should be okay, but in case you do, apologies, I can't do anything about it. My neighbour's watching a dog just now, and it likes to s scream the place down. <laughs> so, it comes and goes, apologies if um, it does get picked up. And that's what it is, in case you're wondering. So, yeah, that's where we are, that's where we're going can't wait to see these episodes. Can't wait to see how we match up against CP9. Can't wait to see their arrogant attitudes get shattered when the Straw Hats go for it. Um, I'm, I did a prediction like kind of on who I think is going to face who. So I'm interested to see how many of those I get right. Uh, but yeah, guys, let's get into it. Um, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. Join me on this One Piece journey. Everyone that has joined me, likes the videos, comments on the videos, thank you all so, so much, guys. I really appreciate it. And yeah, let's get into it. episode 285. Let's go. Oh, oh, they're all turning around. They're waiting for the orders, like, right, can we go and fight them? And Spandam was just crapping his pants. <laughs> oh... Oh yeah, see this is the thing, I like now that because Robin's declared that she wants to live and wants to be with the crew, she's thinking of getting away now. Oh yeah, he's exactly, he's so scared that he wants Luchi beside him, so Luffy's going to have to track him down. Oh yeah, this elephant. What's... Oh. Oh! The elephant's a sword? This is a sword that ate the elephant elephant foot? What? Wait, wait, what? So it wasn't even the elephant ate a sword foot, it was the sword ate an elephant foot? Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, Kokoro, like, I like Kokoro, man, but she, she just doesn't have a sense of danger. And you brought the kid along. <laughs> oh? Nosebleeds? <laughs> yeah, if that's all you've got after that, then you're lucky. Here we go. Oh! Fukuro already? Oh, are we getting the first matchup right away? Oh! Yep, you got invaded, damn right. Oh, thanks for the info. I'm not sure you guys defeat us. You won't be able to... S well... Yeah, exactly, Luffy, just tell him. Okay. I like, I like that this guy just like, can't contain information. <laughs> That's why he has the zip on his mouth. He's like, yeah, I'm just going to tell him everything. A key. Oh, he has the key for Robin's cuffs. Somebody beat him up. Oh. Oh, so that's not the key for Robin's. What? It might be for different hand. Okay. I don't. There are. Oh! Okay, I like this concept. So we have to find the right key. Each. Frankie's dancing. 
So we have to beat all the members to be safe. Exactly. We need to beat them all, and then we need because one of them has the, the the correct key, basically. Exactly. Get Robin first. We'll get Robin back, and then exactly get Robin. Let's ignore the weirdo. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Now nah, has got the plan. If you do that, I'll ditch this key into. Oh. Okay. That's a problem. So they're basically saying that we have to fight them at the same time as we go and get Robin. <laughs> Luffy's Luffy wants to go. Luffy wants to go, Zoro. Let him run wild. Luchi's the pigeon guy, yeah. Exactly. Let Luffy go and fight him. It, yeah, just let him run wild. Yeah. Nice, Sanji. This is great. You guys focus on the rest of CP9. Let Luffy go after Luchi and get Robin. Okay, he's off. Nice. We've got a game plan. Kokoro. Ugh, chimney. Hide. <laughs> Secret part. Oh my god, is she? Oh my god, this kid. Already. The bear, they just, just went away and now she's like, went down like a passage. <laughs> oh, the, oh, was that the, oh my god, so Chimney's on the tail of Spandam and Lucci? Oh, no. Tell Luffy where you're, oh my god, look at this layout here. This is like one of those scenes from Scooby-Doo, when they're in like a mansion and they, they, Keep running all over the place, running through all the doors, chasing, or someone's chasing them. And the, the doors just lead to stupid places. <laughs> so weird room. All oh, right, okay. Chimney, just take note of this door. Oh, did Luchi notice her? Okay, maybe no. So we know it's this door. You need to go and find Luffy Chimney and... Show him where to go. Oh, Frankie's gonna... He's looking for... Yeah, so that's why he wants the kitchen. He's looking for Koma to recharge himself. Was that... Okay. Frankie versus Fukuro. So that's one prediction. Out the window already. <laughs> oh, no. Nami. Oh, God. Up against this guy. I'd say, like, as crazy as this guy is, and he is an insane character, I would say he's probably the most forgettable member of CP9. Oh, who is Usopp gonna bump into, man? Oh, I'm worried. <laughs> Look how quickly he's opening and closing these doors. But yeah, I I've checked in there. I've checked that room. No one's there. Oh, he's going into this one with some confidence. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. And he's like the third strongest one, isn't he? He's got a devil fruit. Oh, Usopp. Oh, man, my predictions were completely wrong. Oh, that's a trick. That's a trick, Usopp. Don't go for that key. Oh no, this room, don't, oh, don't tell me Sanji's get Califa. Oh no, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. No, 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 no. Oh God, he's going to crumble right away. Oh, the heartbeat. Yep, Sanji, the worst person for Sanji. Oh no, Sanji, no. Okay, I got one right. One matchup correct. Zoro versus Kaku. I'm, I'm happy with that. And obviously Luffy and Luchi, but that was obvious. This one, I'm happy with this one. Right, okay, it didn't turn out uh, the way I thought it would. 
with the matchups, but that's what I love about it. It's unexpected and it's like matchups that's just like a bit like they're all over the place and I can't wait to see how they deal with each situation. You know, I don't have a good feeling about Sanji fighting Khalifa. I think that's a there couldn't have like he could have fought anybody else in CP9, it would have been fine. Oh man, that's gonna be bad. But like, how's Nami going to fare against uh, Kumadori? Because we haven't really seen much from him compared to the rest. So, obviously, we know he has the powers, like ever, like all of them do. But to what extent? He seems a bit, like, eccentric. Uh, so, how will she deal with that? Like, Usopp, Usopp getting uh, Jabra? Oh, dear. But then again, like, this has been Usopp's arc. This has been Usopp's time to shine. So maybe we can pull off a miracle here. Like, I, I'm i trying to think, like, with a... Well, obviously, Frankie's thrown me off. Because, like, Chopper... Chopper was the only one that hasn't got a match. Which kind of sucks for Chopper. Uh, but I, I do want to see Frankie fighting as well. So it's that way where I'm like, ugh. But I think that... In the predictions I had, I picked Nami to go up against Califa. I picked Chopper to fight Fukuro, I think. I think Usopp was Kumadori. And then, um, of the Monster Trio was the, I guess, the strongest free kind of thing. So it was like Sanji, Jabra, Zoro, Kaku, which is happening, and Luffy and Luchi, which will happen. So, you know, but I'm glad. You know what? I think I'm, I I, pref I kind of prefer it this way, that it's not a kind of like, oh, the power level's matching up the way you would expect kind of thing. It's like, like right, how is Usopp going to rise to this uh, and try and take this guy on? And I'm, I'm interested to see Jabra's, like, actual devil fruit because we only got to see the kind of, like, um, they kind of like silhouette when him and Luchi kind of squared up to each other. Oh, so it's going to be interesting. It's going to be some good matches. I want to just get into the next episode and see if we just start clashing with them. Uh, hopefully Luffy doesn't get lost uh, too much. I I'm so glad that Zoro's found somebody because I'm like, right, okay. Because my worry was... With Zoro being off on his own, I was like, oh my god, he's going to get lost in some daft place for ages. And it's going to be, like, I thought he was going to, because the numbers didn't add up, I'm like, oh, the only person that's not going to go in a fight is going to be Zoro. He's going to get lost, isn't he? But I'm happy with that. <laughs> Chimney is living on the edge, right? But hopefully she can help Luffy find where to go, because it seems to be she found, like, a secret passage which leads to, like, a secret door that Spandams went through. So, like, she needs to go and tell Luffy this information, right? But, right, enough speculation, enough of this. We're watching the next one. Let's get into it. Episode 286. Let's go. Sanji, ah. We don't have time for this, really? You're drinking tea? What for? I understand your nature, right? But... Come on, sir. We need to go here. Robin. Come on, Luffy. Oh, I really hope Chimney comes and, like, directs him in the right direction. You know, it's just... Yeah, come on. Yeah, the gates, Luffy, exactly, exactly, just head there, and you'll corner them, oh, Zoro, here we go, here we go, I'm far stronger than that time, yes, okay, here we go, energy of a beast, that's right, let's do this, oh, here we go, we're getting right into it, my swordsmanship is the best. Good. 
That's perfect. Perfect for Zoro. Two sword style. Oh. Oh dear. Sorry. But I use four swords. Oh, because you can shoot those from his legs. Exactly. The whole body's a weapon, Zoro. Just cut him up. Oh man, here we go. Here we go. Oh. Oh man, I let oh here we go, this is brilliant. Oh we've not seen um Kaku's devil fruit. We don't know what his devil fruit is yet. Oh, okay. Kind of cancelling each other out here. Oh so nice Nice Oh Got a bit of fabric there. Almost got him. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, is he going to be able to deflect all of those? It's a lot. Yeah, exactly. The fact that he can just like release all those slashes like that. It's dangerous. Sorry, I'll show you. My new p oh, here we go, here we go, double fruit time. Okay, what's it gonna be? Oh, he's tr oh, is that a zone then? Is that a giraffe tail? Is he a giraffe? Oh, it was all by the. Come on, man. That's like the king of like lies and bluffs. You should see that this is like an obvious trap. There's no way he's sleeping with that key line in front of him. There's no way. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, the soap he's gonna talk. A chicken? Yeah, why? You know, he's just bored of the mall doing. <laughs> yeah, you know it's gonna go crazy. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting that. All oh, right, okay. Oh. Was he actually sleeping then? Oh, this guy's just. Oh, Usopp, no. Oh crap. Oh my god, now he's oh we've got to see this one now. My god, right okay, we're seeing all the devil fruits here. Oh okay, he's a wolf. I kind of suspected that because of what Lucci said to him. Dog dog fruit model wolf. Because Lucci called him like a like a, a he made like a, a mutt or like a, a stray dog or something. He said something like that to him. Oh dear, okay. But I need to remember like the zone fruits have like three stages or like three different ones. Except Chopper because he has the rumble ball but they have different forms. What's happening? Oh! Oh my god, I can't believe... Kaku is like a, a, just a giraffe. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> oh, this is crazy though. Like, these two fights like coming together here. I like it. <laughs> they think you'll be a giraffe man for the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah, I like giraffes. I like giraffes, guys. It looks like, are they all going to be zone types then? So is Califa probably going to be a zone as well? Yeah, so the way it's lining up. Oh my god, are those sea prism cuffs? Usopp? Oh, Usopp, you can be using them, buddy. Oh, 
Oh, those will come in very handy for us. Especially since there's like four double fruit users we're going up against here. Okay, right. Human be so we're getting the second form here for Kaku. Kaku's giraffe. What is this going to look like? What? Look at this six pack on this giraffe, man. <laughs> Oh, what if, yeah, I wasn't expecting Zoro to say that. Zoro with the puns. <laughs> yeah, it was so funny, it made Zoro lose his composure. I like that, I like that the, the square nose has become a feature on the giraffe face as well. Oh, oh my god, did they, uh, yeah. We saw that we had the element of surprise with the sea prism. How do you like you? How do you do that? How do you hit Zoro? Just okay. So <laughs> Kaku's transformation made a mess. Oh, poor Kaku, man. Poor Kaku. Gets a devil fruit and just gets abused. Oh, what is happening here? Oh, yeah. Okay. Maybe this giraffe is packing a punch, you guys, that weren't expecting it. Because he's a square giraffe. <laughs> Okay, okay, Kaku. Oh, he sliced the whole building in half? Okay, giraffe. Right, okay, good episodes. A good, a good mix of serious, like, right, here we go, it's go time, but funny at the same time. Like, that, that was, that was funny. That was great. The, the giraffe stuff there was, was fantastic. I really liked that. Um, I liked the... I like the fact that this isn't like a, it's such a like, you know, free for all, where you feel like anybody could happen, like the fights are merging together, the fact that they came down, like Zoro and Kaku came down and are now in the mix with Usopp and Jabra, and I, it gave me peace of mind because I was like, oh god, how is Usopp going to deal with this situation here, so he's got Zoro with him now, And, like, Usopp can equalise them, maybe, with those, like, Sea Prism handcuffs. Which I've been wanting, like, uh, I've been wanting Usopp to use Sea Prism for a while, like, and in, in, integrate it into his weapons, in case we go up against Devil Fruit users in the future. This could be, like, a good gateway into that. Um, I don't know. I understand, like, the joke that, uh, what's happening with Sanji and Califa, but Sanji needs to, needs to move. Like, uh, we all need to, we all need to get going here. Like, I understand that we're, we're getting the gags in as well. You know, we're dealing with this, like, giraffe humour here too, and Zoro's getting sucked into that. But, guys, we need to, we need to get these keys. We need to get a Robin. Like, we, we can focus on other things after that, but we need to get to Robin, get her safe, get these keys, get her free. Um, I don't think Sanji's going to be able to fight this woman. I, I honestly don't. I think it's going to have to be... I honestly hope that the same thing happens with him that just happened with, um, with Zoro and Usopp. Somebody... Oh, maybe Chopper's going to go there. Because we haven't seen Chopper. Oh, please, Chopper has to go there and deal with Califer because I don't think Sanji's going to be able to do it. I don't think he's going to be able to do it, guys. Uh, so, yeah, we didn't get anything from, like, Frankie and Fukuro, really. Like, other than the initial, right, these two are going up against each other. We know that Frankie's... Trying to find the kitchen because he needs to get the cola to recharge himself. Oh, 
hopefully as well, we need Chimney to show Luffy the way. Because, like, at least Luffy's, like, he's starting to think now where he's realised, like, oh, wait a minute, I'm running around here, you know, just don't know where I'm going. I know where they're going. They're going to the gates of justice. If I head there, then I'll meet them. Like, or if I just go there first, then I can head them off. The question is, though, how do they get through the gates of justice? That's what I'm thinking. Do they have to go through that specific door that Spandam went through to get there? Or can Luffy go over the top? Can Luffy, you know, spring himself over to the gates? Is there like a kind of... I don't know, like... Is it... The way they described it, or the way Nami described it, it must be like a, a kind of like dock there for like a ship to go through. Because it's like a... It, they said it was like a cam belt or like a... Not like a... It's like a... It's a, it's a sea current that only the Marines are allowed in that connects to... The, the three places, to Ennis Lobby, HQ, and Impel Down, the prison. That was how it worked. It wasn't like a, it's not like a, a land area. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's like a sea, like, it's a, it's a, it's a special kind of like sea connection place that only the government has access to. If that, if, if I'm making any sense here, if I have that right. Um, so they must have to get on a ship. So that means that Luffy can still get there and stop them. Even if he doesn't go through all the doors they're going through. Hopefully that's what's going to happen here. But if he does have to, if he does have to go through that door, Chimney knows the way. So we need to find Chimney to get there. Oh man, right, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy with how it's going. I'm happy with, like, it just, it feels like with that, it's not a regular shonen arc where this person's fighting this person and that's it. And now the episode's going to stick with this until that fight's done and then we'll jump to this one and we'll jump to that one. They're not doing that. And that's what I love about One Piece. I love that One Piece gives you a bit of everything in the episode. So it's like, Let's check in with Nami. Let's check in uh, with uh, Luffy. See how he's going on. If he's found them. Now, you know, Kaku transformation, Jabra transformation, and then the merging of those two fights. We're, we're all over the place, and I love it. Because you, you get kind of, you get the little bits from everybody. I am, because these two episodes, I'm curious as to what, it's happening with Chopper. Like I'm saying, I'm hoping he's going to arrive to help Sanji. But like, other than at the start when Fukuro was explaining the keys thing, that's the only time we really saw Chopper. Then when they all split up and ran away, I haven't seen him. So what's he up to? Let's uh, let's hope that he's going to help Sanji. Let's hope that um. But at the same time, like maybe it could help Nami because Nami seems to be in a bit of a spot as well. I feel like Frankie will be okay. Like Frankie versus Fukuro, he should be okay on his own. Uh, maybe Nami needs a bit of an assist with this Kumidori guy. Uh, but then again, he seems a bit stupid. So maybe Nami can trick him, use her smarts. That could be the case, I don't think, I think the only two that don't have devil fruits are Kumidori and Fukuro, I believe, might be wrong, but I think that's right, they're the only two, I think obviously, obviously Kaku and Kali, if I didn't have them as well, but they got them from Spandam, oh, and now it makes me wonder, what is Kali for devil fruit, it's, it's looking like it's going to be a zone type, because the way they lined them up there, every other member of CP9 is a zone type. Well, except for Bluno, actually. But, you know, I, I don't feel like Bluno's part of this. They lined them all up there. And, like, if I, I can't remember if it was Zoro or Usopp making the statement of, like, oh, so they've all got, like, zone fruits. It looks like it's set up that that's what's going to happen with Califa. 
but what kind of animal was she going to be? Like the, the giraffe thing with Kaku was brilliant. I, I wasn't expecting a giraffe, you know? Like with, with like the other members, like a leopard and a wolf, those are animals you expect with like combat heavy, like vicious, you know, like, oh, it will increase their strength in a fight. A giraffe is such a curveball to me that I'm just like, okay, a giraffe, like wasn't expecting it. But I love it. I love it. It was funny. I love the design. I think it's great. You know, I like that. And a little bit at the end there to show off. Look, listen, this has been like a gag. And we're all laughing at the giraffe. But Kaku is really strong. And it looks like in this forum, he's capable of some stuff. Okay? So don't underestimate the giraffe. But yeah. Guys. Good episodes. It just it, it's hyped me up, made me want to just watch more, and that's all you can ask for for like a an episode of an anime. It's like right, I'm so invested, I'm into it, I can't wait to see what happens next. Uh, guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Everyone that has and comes back, watches, likes, comments, thank you all so so much, guys, and I will see you all on the next one. Thanks, guys.